The IB program is uh, short for the International Baccalaureate Program. It's an advanced placement program uh, for students who are likely college bound, provides them with uh, uh, rigorous student-centered courses uh, to prepare them for higher education by and large. They can now explore research opportunities and paid internships and other situations that they would not be able to avail themselves of sooner in life. We put Adrian on the map. Uh, that's, what I, that's what I like about this most. Um, we have 155 students that have taken an IB, at least one IB class, um, which is about 40% of our juniors and seniors. I've learned a lot about self-management and learning how to manage my schedule. Doing my MYP, I've had to stay on track with my research and my data and how it's going to affect my final project. This program has really taken 21st century education and pro propelled it to a higher level. I have one candidate who is now uh, earned his PhD and is working out in Seattle, and so he was really fast-tracked by everything he learned in IB. Not necessarily just the little content, but how to integrate things, and how to pull from a variety of resources and make it work. That's what life skills are gonna be now. It's not sitting behind a desk and listening to somebody lecture to you, and then you know just be able to, to speak it back out. Uh, now the, the instructors are saying, you know, what about, what about, what about, and how do you find this? And, and they're not going to guide you through it. They're going to give you uh, maybe some questions for you to look at, and then, and then you need to go out and, and figure out the, the answer. I decided to do yoga. Why? I chose yoga because of my personal experience with it. I'm going more towards the positive side of yoga. I'm going with the mental and physical benefits, and a little bit of um, just meditating and the soul and what yoga is and what it has to offer to the body. My project investigates personal histories of the men and women born in the late 1920s, uh, the 1930s, and going into the 1940s, like 1941, 42. It's referred by many people today as the greatest generation, uh, like I said, the men and women of the, 20, the late 20s and the 30s. And part of my project too was investigating whether this idea of a greatest generation greatest generation could be found outside the United States. And I think through my research that I've conducted with uh, the people in Japan and with the gentlemen in France is that it, it, it can be found, that these group of people truly did, gave, truly did give so much of themselves. And that's what makes them this greatest generation that you know, the modern world has ever known. There is no question that the students and staff of our program are very committed, work very hard, sweat through the tough stuff right along with the kids uh, and feel an equal, uh, equal level of satisfaction and uh, proud uh, behavior at the end. Mm -hmm.